This all happened at a home near Park Street in Keeler. Neighbors telling 41 Action News she did not want to go back to jail. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Vincent live on the scene now in Olathe with an update on the investigation. Lisa. Right now, police tape still surrounds the house, and in fact, detectives are still inside collecting information. We talked to neighbors who did not want to talk on camera, but tell 41 Action News police negotiated for hours before they heard gunfire. Jeff Howard could only stand and watch as police went in and out of a house just steps away from his church. Just cops coming all over the place and stop going down the alley, blocking it off. There is one person that is deceased. Johnson County Sheriff's deputies and Olathe police were trying to arrest 26-year-old Sierra Howard, but she refused to surrender. After negotiating for hours, officers entered the home. That's when police say Howard threatened him with a weapon. Two officers and one sheriff's deputy opened fire, killing Howard. I never imagined that was going to happen here by this neighbor. 41 Action News has learned that Howard has faced a number of charges in Johnson County, ranging from theft to domestic assault. The Johnson County Sheriff's Department issued a warrant for her arrest on Tuesday after she violated probation by not returning to the Johnson County Adult Residential Center. Neighbors say she didn't want to go back to jail. Things happen for a reason. I don't know why. They share the same last name, but Jeff says he doesn't know the victim. Nonetheless, he says this deadly shooting reconfirms the church's need to be in this neighborhood. I mean, it's a dangerous world no matter what, but uh, I just thank the Lord that he's watching over the rest of us. Now back here live, you can see there are sheriff's deputies right here parked outside the house and inside there are still deputies. In fact, you can see the door is still open. Now police tell us they did recover a firearm inside of that house, but again, thankfully, no deputies or officers were injured. Reporting live in Olathe, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.